Morning everyone, James JT Motive, Lifestyle and Motivation. I hope everyone is good. Um, I'm going to do something a little bit different. So please watch the video um, to the end and then like and comment, always the same, if you want to. Um, but yeah, a little bit different. And what I'm going to do is, this video today is, I know I always do positive videos and that's great, but you know what? It's okay not to be okay. And I'm gonna elaborate on that because I'm going through a bit of a storm at the moment with different things. And I wanna share it with you, rather than obviously people, are, he's always positive, he's always happy. Yes, I am, but I go through massive struggles as well. And I'm gonna elaborate on that today. However, the reading was for me today. So let me read my reading, and then I'm gonna go into what's been going on. So the reading today is out my, out my book, always the same. And it says, I am the risen one who shines upon you always. You worship, you worship a living dietary, not some idolatrous man-made image. Your relationship with me is meant to be vibrant and challenging as I invade more and more areas in your life. Do not fear change for I am making you a new creation. With old things passing away and new things continually on the horizon, when you cling to old ways and sameness, you resist my work within you. I want you to embrace all that I am doing in your life, finding your security in me alone. It is easy to make an idol of routine, finding security within the boundaries you build around your life. Although each day contains 24 hours, Every single one presents a unique set of circumstances. Don't try to force fit today into yesterday's mold. Instead, ask me to open your eyes so you can find all I have prepared for you in this uh, precious day of life. So that fits me perfect at the moment. It's gonna be a, uh, a good few minute video of this, so I'm sorry Val and Neve, but it needs to be said. So I'd say for the last good few weeks, um, yeah, last good few weeks, obviously a lot of people know it's been about six weeks for Ted, but the last good few weeks have been very, very up and down. Um, and some people know when I'm uh, when I'm a little bit off key because these videos don't get done. But it's about time I pulled my finger out and shared the videos, good and bad. So everything's about a balance and, and like I said, this last few weeks have been quite emotional. Still been good, still been cracking on, still been doing the best I can, but very, very emotional around certain areas. So I'll break down the areas. Work life, amazing, next level. Recovery, helping people, AA meeting, DAA, um, ringing people constantly. Amazing, next level again. Um, home life. Great, amazing, um, everything going good there. Exercise, nothing. Walking in the morning, nothing. And, and food, my diet, good. No, not. So I don't have a balance. I've got work and recovery and everything, which is dead important up there. But then I've got all my, uh, my diet and my, my health. And you are what you eat. And it, it's mad because... I can't be asked is the truth but if I could it would give me it would give me the balance and it would bring it would bring everything in line everything I'd have more energy I'd be feeling a lot better um, I'd not be getting upset over the most stupid things just feeling quite emotional speaking to people I mean obviously I spoke to somebody yesterday um, and the, it's me we discussed this person and it's me 10 and a half years ago and I got dead upset because that was me couldn't stop I couldn't stop for the love of my own daughter drinking and using and I didn't think I had a problem I wasn't asked and it took my whole family to disown me my whole family in bits and bobs and the last two people to disown me with my mum and dad and that broke me and that broke me into doing something about what I needed to do to get into recovery. And I spoke to this lovely person yesterday and uh, 
it got me. It just really got me. The first thing I've thought of this morning is that situation. So I hope and pray that this person gets broken so then they can phone me and I can help him walk over broken glass if need be. So going, I'm very, very up and down at the moment, guys. And uh, I hope people can relate because uh, not every day is a bed of roses. It's not. But that reading says it all for me. So as I'm going through these two weeks and I'm crying at the most stupidest stuff, or not not most stupidest stuff, just getting quite emotional, thinking of Ted, thinking of my dad, thinking of past stuff. Um, music's a big one for me. I'm listening to music at the moment. I'm listening to 90s. And I grew up in the 90s. I know we don't look it, do I? Look, we don't look it. But it's bringing back all memories. See, I'm going. I'm going already. It's bringing back memories of when I grew up. And I had the most amazing childhood, me and my brother with my mum and dad. It was amazing. I can't, there were, I can't think of any bad times. They were all amazing. And music that I'm listening to brings that back in the forefront of my mind. And I think, oh, wow. Look, at, I remember that and I remember this. And it just brings it all back. But good. But it's, it's, it's bringing something up. So it's changing. I'm changing with all this. So as the book says, I need to embrace this. And, and don't don't bury it or poo poo it out the door. This needs to be embraced to a change to make me a better person. So I'm going to finish there, Val and Neve. Six and a half minutes. It's a bit of a long one. I hope everyone has the most blessed, amazing day. And I hope somebody gets something from it. Like, comment, share. Always the same. Anybody needs me, DM me. Always here to help. Mwah. Love and God bless.